This is an exciting project here in North Carolina at the Port of Wilmington. Why did you select the Port of Wilmington for this? We live here in Wilmington. Um, we've analyzed and seen the port here and, and all the infrastructure that's been built here. And um, it, came to, it came to basically our attention that, that the dynamics of our port here in this state, um, we were missing the cold storage applications here. So um, with doing some research and trying to understand um, what we had here, we decided that the cold storage would be a phenomenal deal for the state and, and for us as a company. As we all know, North Carolinians, everybody in the United States and certainly everybody in China is living in a global marketplace today. Mm -hmm. And our countries and our state are committed to that global economy. Mm -hmm. As a result, uh, the ports play a key role in this global economy. Without it, everything would come pretty much to a screeching halt. So from our viewpoint, the North Carolina ports is a, is a tremendous economic engine in the state of North Carolina. Uh, assisting global businesses to be successful in their global supply chain. In North Carolina, the state ports provide on an annual basis about 65,000 jobs and 500 million to the state and local economy in taxes. Since North Carolina has a very large and prosperous agricultural business, um, we're always looking at ways to expand that. And a lot of these products are sensitive in how they're packaged and how they're kept. Investing in freezers and chillers at the state ports would go a long way in helping our poultry, our blueberry, a lot of our vegetable products be able to be um, maintained and shipped across the across the globe. And you're really taking advantage, I think, if I remember, it's it's pork, which we're a very large producer of in North Carolina. Absolutely. Poultry, sweet potatoes, and then on the other side, you'll be bringing product in seafood, seafood fruit. fruits, um, shrimp out of Malaysia. So it, it really. Uh, a facility like this gives both a give and take. You got to export and you also right. have to import the same amount. So again, it makes North Carolina a better focal point for, for those type of industries. Unfortunately, right now, a lot of this product is going through ports in other states. That's why it's imperative that North Carolina invest in infrastructure in its own ports, both at the state and local level, so that we can expand our capacity and have the ability to receive bigger and larger freight. That would be a benefit for both the port and for us um, as a deal to, to allow the port to add additional lines. Right. And, and, and we see enough commerce coming through here that, that that's a big potential. And, and as I understand, the state has really won. They asked you to participate and they're supporting it through the Department of Agriculture, through the Department of Commerce, through a number of state agencies. They are yeah. throwing their support behind it? Without a doubt. I mean, this, this um, state port is a focal point of, of commerce here in the state. So. Um, a lot of state agencies have come in and helped and, and want to make sure that this is a very successful deal for the state. One of the priorities for local governments is to create jobs for our citizens. And one of the best ways to do that is through partnerships with companies from other countries. New Hanover County is a friendly place and we want foreign investment in our county. And to that extent, we're willing to work with um, national companies and international companies in order to provide jobs here. And we see this as a sustain, uh, sustainability of jobs that exist here today and also recruiting new jobs in North Carolina. The North Carolina Ports has enjoyed unprecedented growth in the last six years. We've, we've experienced double-digit growth in our volumes as a result of North Carolina's global industry supporting as well as surrounding states supporting the North Carolina Ports, mm -hmm. taking advantage of both financial and logistics benefits, and we want to continue to do that going forward, uh, certainly everything related to this project as well. We see this as a contributor to the economic engine that the North Carolina Ports already is, uh, is, is producing at this point. Yeah, I agree. I, th you know, I think this, this deal is really easy for us because we've got all the, all the basis and infrastructure and all, um, like I said earlier, all the ingredients here. Um, because we're such a big um, producer of proteins, um, it just makes natural sense that we have a facility here on the state of North Carolina that can export the stuff that we make within our state. Sweet potatoes, poultry, two of our big exports. Right now they're going through, they're going out of ports in different states. We have to stop that. Um, the wood products, uh, both in raw timber and wood mulch, uh, there's, there's 40,000 tons every other week shipping right out of the state ports here in Wilmington. We could increase that capacity three times if we invest in infrastructure. So we're at the local level, we're looking at partnerships and ways to do that, and we hope you guys can be part of the solution.